Here we are in uh, mid to late March in western Pennsylvania at a vernal pool site. This is a site where we have a wetland that's perched above a stream below um, where water congregates every spring um, from aquifers and from melting snow and ice and eventually it'll dry out as the seasons progress into summertime. There are some very important species that inhabit the, the vernal pools in this, this springtime. They use these pools to breed. Um, the Jefferson salamander, the spotted salamander, and the marbled salamander use these pools as well as other lesser known or more common species like wood frogs and spring peepers. Uh, we're going to walk around the pool here in the daylight and see if any there's any activity and then we'll probably be back this evening to see if there's any breeding activity during the night time. In addition to water draining from the surrounding watershed down into the pool, the surrounding woods also provide habitat for the salamanders to breed. So therefore protection of forests surrounding these vernal pools is important to both for the water flowing into the pool and for breeding or for foraging habitat for the adult salamanders. Uh, here we caught a spotted salamander in the vernal pool. Um, he was crawling along the bottom. Uh, this is an embistement salamander or mole salamander. Uh, they're found in these pools every spring um, to breed. Then they fan out from the pools after they're done breeding into the forest and spend most of their time underneath logs and debris um, feeding on worms and other insects throughout the summer. Um, they are a vernal pool species. If there is a vernal pool in your backyard, um, this is what, these are the salamanders that you would use them. They're very common in these pools. Vernal pools in the name vernal means springtime. Um, these pools are around in the springtime after the snow and ice melt um, from leftover water and from heavy rains. And then as the summer progresses, the days get longer and it gets hotter, the, pool, the pools evaporate and disappear during the summertime. That can make them very hard to identify during the summer um, and very hard to identify them as an important wetland that can be in, in certain areas of the state. Um, so therefore, we're out here inventorying these pools um, and marking their locations um, so that people know where they are and so that they don't get destroyed uh, and they aren't overlooked in the summertime. Uh, here we have a, here we have a um, egg mass of a vernal pool salamander, a bistamid salamander. It uh, could be a spotted salamander, a Jefferson salamander. Um, they come to the pool every spring and breed and lay attach or attach their eggs to woody debris, sticks, vegetation in the bottom of the pool. The eggs are inside this jelly mass. There's probably 30, maybe, eggs in this mass here, where they'll stay in the middle column of the pool and, and develop. And then the larva salamander will crawl out of the egg and feed in the pool until the pool will dry up. And they'll stay in the moist soils, and they'll eventually morph into a salamander. Um, and that's pretty much the life cycle of these embistament salamanders that inhabit these pools. Uh, hopefully later on this evening we'll catch another movement of salamanders breeding and laying eggs. I hope we're not too late. We're back here at our vernal pool in western Pennsylvania um, at night time to conduct amphibian surveys to see when these amphibians come out and how many come out. Um, they prefer, they're nocturnal, they prefer to come out at night when they're less vulnerable to predators. So far we've seen breeding masses of spotted salamanders and Jefferson salamanders, and we've also seen many wood frogs. Um, all three species you can find during the day, but are definitely easier to find at nighttime here in the vernal pool. Here are our most two common vernal pool salamanders in western Pennsylvania. Right here we have the Jefferson salamander which is usually a gray with blue flecking on the side or blue spots on the side. Very small blue spots. And the other salamander over here is the spotted salamander, which is also a gray with yellow spots, large yellow spots down its back and side. 
Um, both are rather common in western Pennsylvania pools. The only species that isn't at this pool is the marbled salamander, which is dark gray with white spots. But these are our two most common vernal pool salamander species in western Pennsylvania.